Example one, I want you to find the other three angles of the given trapezoid. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check the solution. Well, right away we know we have an isosceles trapezoid, because here's our two bases, and our two legs are marked as congruent. This means our base angles are congruent. Thus, angle C must be 100 degrees. Then we want to focus on the two parallel lines cut by the transversal. If this blue angle is 100, then the green angle is supplementary, and so it must be 80 degrees. That means the other base angle is also 80 degrees. Thus, measure of angle A is 80 degrees, measure of angle B is 80 degrees, and the measure of angle C is 100 degrees. If you understand the basics of trapezoids and isosceles trapezoids, so isosceles trapezoids have three characteristics, well two really. The base angles, the pairs of base angles are congruent, and the diagonals are congruent. That's all you need to know about isosceles trapezoids. The pairs of base angles are congruent and the diagonals are congruent. An isosceles trapezoid occurs when the legs are congruent. If you're good with that, you're welcome to move on to part two, mid-segment of a trapezoid.